Good morning. It's Monday, the 27th of September at 6 o'clock. Welcome to BBC One. Good morning and welcome to Breakfast with Dan Wangstein and Sally Numnus. Today we will bang on about fuel shortages that didn't exist until we spread the bullshit like you butter your toast in the morning. We won't be telling you that this story started as BP missing a couple of deliveries that media tosspots like us spread around as a fuel shortage. This naturally sent gullible tosspots around the country straight to petrol stations for a bit of panic buying like the toilet rolls we started last year. We do this because the real stories like 9,000 excess deaths since July might make people ask questions about how that happens in the summer, you know, when it never happens before but we don't want you to know that. We certainly won't be talking about the mass protests going on around the world in various countries as people fight back against the medical tyranny we're balls deep in and loving every single day. We can't show you that because the weak and submissive British public might untuck their bollocks and start saying no to the freedoms that we've helped take away. This is why we gaslight you gullible gammons into panic buying shit that will still be there next week you dopey fuckers. Next though we're gonna bang on about Labour scrapping business tax despite the fact they're completely unelectable even with the communist Tory party government we've got running the show now. And of course we have our bat flu fear porn segment coming up yet again screaming about how the NHS is struggling and needs to be saved. This is despite us telling you that you must stay at home to protect the NHS all last year and all of that bollocks. Yes you stayed home to protect the NHS but it's still the useless money making shit pit that it has been for years. In fact it's even further down the shitter than it was before. Next up though we've got furlough ending so all you lot being paid to sit on your ass are now about to find out if you still have a job. Yes your furlough payments could soon become the dole that you claimed you wasn't on. Us rich cunts at the BBC thank you all for your compliance and sacrificing your job to protect the NHS from doing its job. We will look forward to our increased ratings as you sit at home watching the absolute bollocks that we pump out. Once again, thank you very much. Where 